I'd first like to start this video by saying a huge thank you to every single one of my patrons. I set a goal recently, if I reached 50 patrons I would invest in a laser printer and I reached that goal and I'm so so thankful. So truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to every single person that was a supporter of me. Thank you friend, that really means a lot to me. This printer is my absolute dream printer. I've been dreaming about this printer since I started bookbinding and I can't believe I actually finally got to get it. I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! <laughs> my most common question about bookbinding is what type of printer I use. Um, a lot of people, they want to know whether they should get an ink printer or a laser printer. I originally started off with an ink printer. It took forever to print, but I was able to print in color because a lot of the laser printers, if you want color, it's a lot more expensive to get a color laser printer. So often you just have to get a black and white or a monochrome one, which often for books isn't that bad as most typesets only use black and white anyway. So my old color printer was a Canon Pixma Home A3 inkjet. And my brand new one that I've got is an MFC L5755 DW Brother monochrome printer. So in this video I'm going to recommend whether you should buy an inkjet or a laser printer, especially for bookbinding purposes. And I'm also going to do a speed test between the two to see which has the highest pages per minute and which one can print out a book faster. So as I said before, this is my inkjet printer, it's the Canon TS9 560 printer. It was in the $300 range, which was not too expensive, but also not the cheapest one on the market. So if that's too expensive for you, you definitely can go cheaper. There are some really good inkjet printers around the $40 mark that are really, really fantastic. This printer itself, it could print up to 15 pages a minute, which isn't great, it's not a lot, but that's taken into account if you want full colour pictures. It does a really good job of making sure there are no streaks and no lines in your colour prints, so if you do want a printer that has the capability to print in colour without having a lot of streaks, I would definitely suggest this Canon printer. But as I said before, there are so many other ones on option, I know that Inkjet printers, they can range from anywhere from $20 to a thousand. So there really is quite a range for them and you just need to research and make sure you're picking the one that works best for you. If you need them to print fast, you might want to get one that has a better pages per minute. If you're not too worried about that and you just want it quality, you might want one that has a better printing DPI resolution. This one, for example, has 4,800 by 1,200 DPI, which is pretty good, but it can definitely go higher if you want a better crystal clear picture. Now, when it comes to laser printers, the price range is definitely a lot higher than inkjet, and that's because of two primary reasons. Number one, it's because they print so much faster. It's insane. The first time I got it, I thought it was broken and it wasn't actually printing out anything. It was just spitting out paper. But then I looked at it and it was all fine. And it was just, it was very shocking because it was so quick in comparison to my old printer. So that's why they're a lot more expensive. It's also because the quality is usually a lot better than inkjet printers. And for the price range, it can go from anywhere between 200 to 5,000. So my one, it's around the $600 mark. It was still pretty expensive as you can tell, but oh my God, it was so worth it. So if you are looking to invest in a really good one, I implore you, I, honestly just ask you to please please consider getting yourself a brother laser printer they're so good mine is a monochrome one because most of the books i work with are black and white anyway i only really have two text type sorry typesets that have color in them so i don't really need to worry about color that much but if you do want a color laser printer you are going to have to fork out a little bit more because it needs more toner room for the drums of color instead of just one big one for the black so you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit there but it honestly just depends on what you're looking to print
So I've literally just now sent the document through to the printer and it's already starting to print. Usually with my inkjet printer it takes at least two minutes for it to boot up, but this one started straight away. I've given my laser printer a book twice as thick as the printer I've given my inkjet, so I'm going to see if the laser printer actually manages to beat the inkjet printer out. And I already have to change the tray for paper for the inkjet printer almost as soon as it started printing. It can only hold 200 sheets of paper, while as the laser printer can hold up to 2000, depending on what tray you get. So again, it is really useful. And my laser printer has managed to churn out a book that is almost three times the size of the book I put in my inkjet printer in just 17 minutes. Oh my god. So I am now going to keep recording and mind you, this is at three times speed of my inkjet printer and see how long it takes to turn out a book a third the size that the laser printer did. Much, much, much later. 75 years later. It is taking so long that I'm actually going to double the speed of the video right now so we can get to the end as soon as possible. Next morning. And finally, after changing the paper tray, I think two times during that print, it has managed to print a book one third the size of the one the laser printer did in one hour, five minutes, and 49.77 seconds. Oh my god. So, in conclusion, if you're looking for speed and efficiency and cost effectiveness, I would definitely suggest to you buying a laser printer and again you can buy a really really good laser printer that works just as well as my one for the $60 to $100 range so you don't have to go all out to the wall and buy a $600, $1000, $2000 one you really don't need to but if you would like color or more cheap to operate definitely go with the ink printer I would definitely always suggest ink printing if you're trying to print in colour. Toner is much more cost effective. It can print up to 8,000, sometimes 12,000 pages per drum, while as ink can sometimes only get up to 200 pages per little sachet of ink. So it's more cost effective, but ink does provide a better result when we're working with colour. But and then again, if you're just doing book binding and you're only printing typesets that are black and white, you really don't need that. So I would definitely suggest for just black and white typesetting to get a $40 to $100 laser printer. They're really, really effective, cost effective, fast, and they have a much larger paper capacity. As I said before, my inkjet printer can only handle 200 pages in its tray. My laser printer can hold 2,000 